Everybody, Rick Needham handicapping races on Friday afternoon and evening. On Friday, May the 29th, this is my Equibase Winter Circle race of the day. Let's go to beautiful Belmont Park first for their fourth race on the card today, 2.33 p.m. Eastern Post Time. It's a mild test on the turf course, made in Phillies and Mares, three years old, and up race for a claiming purse of... $20,000. Contenders number two, Love for a Price. Number one, A, Sarah's Sally. Number 11, Flip the Coin. And number five, Code Name. Number two, Love for a Price is the speed leader in this maiden field, racing at today's distance of a mile on the turf, has produced power runs at each of the last five, hitting the board in four. Number one, A, Sarah's Sally has produced power run performances in each of her three career starts to date. She is a daughter, by the way, of Malibu Moon, whose progeny have hit the board in 42% of more than 4,400 combined lifetime starts to date. Race 4 summary, number 2, Love for a Price, tops the contenders list, which also includes number 1A, Sarah Sally, number 11, Flip the Coin, and number 5, code name 21115 and 4th today from Belmont Park. Let's go to Churchill Downs in Kentucky next for their sixth race on the card today, 5.22 p.m. Eastern Post Time, eight and a half for a long route test on the turf, Phillies and Mares, three years old and up, race for a claiming purse of $30,000. Contenders number six, Princess Wesley, number four, CBT Snake Eye, number seven, Fancy Footsteps, and number eight, Scotland. Place. Number six, Princess Wesley, shares the overall speed leadership of this claiming field today as the pace profile leader drops in class by five track master units, has been a power and performer in each of her last five, facing better company in each of those races today than she'll face in this field today. CBT Snake Eye qualifies as the track master plus power pony, takes a class drop of eight units comes off a power run performance facing substantially better company in her last start. Race 6 summary, number 6, Princess Wesley tops the contenders list, which also includes number 4, CBT Snake Eye, number 7, Fancy Footsteps, and number 8, Scotland Place, 6-4, in the 6th today, on Friday afternoon from Churchill Downs. Finally, let's go out west to Hollywood Park for the second race in the car today, 7.34 p.m. Pacific Post Time. This is a six furlong sprint on Hollywood's cushion track, three-year-olds and up race for a claiming purse of $13,000. Contenders number seven, Cape Town King, number three, Sacred Mountain, number four, Cabello, and number five, Something Sonic. Number seven, Cape Town King, is both the speed and pace profile later in this claiming field, sprinting at six furlongs on the dirt, has produced power runs in five straight, hitting the board in four, including a power run win in his third race back. Number three, Sacred Mountain, an eight to one shot, comes off a power run win his last time out. Race two summary, number seven, Cape Town King, tops the contenders list which also includes number three, Sacred Mountain, number four, Cabello, and number five, something Sonic, seven, three, four, five, and the second this afternoon from Hollywood Park. Let's make that this evening, folks, as, of course, I've forgotten. On uh, Friday afternoon slash evening, Hollywood Park starts there first post at 7.05 p.m. A couple of bonus long shots for you as usual, folks. Let's go to Finger Lakes first, race four, number seven, Kick 'em Love, four to one in the morning line. The speed leader is claiming field. Has hit the board in power run fashion at five straight, including a power run win his last time out. And from Churchill Downs in Kentucky, let's go to race number one. Number six, Scara Bray, four to one in the morning line, drops in class by five units. Decent speed for this five in one half for a long sprint. So on a Friday afternoon, handicapping from Belmont Park, Churchill Downs, and Hollywood Park in Southern California, Rick Needham reminding you as always to please bet with your head, not over it.